And how old are you? Nine. Love it. So guided meditation. Interesting Christopher's last passage that he read, <laughs> the last poem that he read. That's where we're going. Is that like fun or what? Don't you love it? All right, so we've got a, another row here to go. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Another deep breath in and exhale. One more deep breath in and on this exhale, allow yourself just to settle into your core. Allow yourself to find that centering. Just be here. There's nothing that you're responsible for right at the moment. Just be here. Be fully present in your own life for this moment. And from that centering, allow your awareness now to move from the center of your being down to the bottoms of your feet. There are energy portals there. And when we're aware of them, they'll open like the eye of a camera and any unwanted energy can just drain out the bottoms of your feet. It's just energy. You can let it go. You don't have to hang on to anything. You can be free of that. Release it. While that is continuing to release any sorrow or pain or loss or discomfort in your body, as you're releasing that, bring your attention to the top of your head. There's an energy portal there. And when we become aware of that, that also opens like the eye of a camera. And as that opens, this allows us to become willing to connect with that which is divine. Whatever term you use for that. Whatever word helps you get your arms around that. And with that willing connection, living light of love pours down into the top of your head. Perhaps you perceive it as golden. Perhaps it's an iridescent, sparkly color. Perhaps it's blue for you today, or red, or purple, or green. Whatever you're experiencing is what is just right for you today and may have spiritual significance for you. So just receive that with gratitude. And as you allow that energy to touch your mind, any fear or sorrow or loss, any regret or blame is displaced by this beautiful loving light. And that energy is heavier and denser and it just falls out the bottoms of your feet. Let it go. Letting more and more love and light touch your mind, touch your third eye, touch your physical eyes. This gives you the ability to perceive things on a spiritual level. Rather than just things are happening, they're lessons, they're experiences. Let this living light of love touch your ears, your mouth, your throat. This gives you the ability to speak your truth from a place of love and grace. It gives you the ability to hear someone else's truth, even if it's not yours. You don't have to fix them or change their mind or make them different. Just allow it to be. Letting more and more love and light fill your shoulders. We carry a lot of tension there. So you might want to roll your shoulders to release that. Where there's tension, this loving energy can't flow. So let it go. And this loving light will flow down into your arms and your hands. Letting more and more loving energy fill your torso. So that it touches every organ, every system, every tissue, every fiber, every cell. Even down into the cell and down into the DNA, bringing this living light of love. Bringing revitalization, reharmonizing you, and blessing you with love. Letting more and more loving energy flow into your legs, down into your feet, and let it flow through your feet into the earth. It feels really good to anchor this loving light into this physical realm. That's part of what we came here to do, is be a blessing. And anyone who needs that loving energy can access it. It feels good to be a conduit of this loving light. 
And now close the energy portals at the bottoms of your feet, and you're now a vessel of light. And more and more love and light can fill your being and fill the energy that surrounds your body. As that continues to fill, let's take a little walk. In your imagination, allow yourself to find your way onto a little path. And this little path may be wide, it may be narrow, may be dirty, or may be dusty, it may be full of rocks. Whatever you're experiencing is what is right for you. Maybe there's little wildflowers growing nearby. Just be aware. Know that it may have significance for you. But whatever you're experiencing is what is right for you in this moment. And allow yourself to find your way to a meadow, a beautiful meadow. Wildflowers bloom everywhere with a riot of color. It's spring and it's wonderful. The sun is shining. Perhaps you even experience a a breeze on your face. And you feel safe and comfortable and pleasant. And allow yourself to walk out into the middle of this field of flowers, this meadow. And it is such a beautiful day. Allow yourself to just lie down. Feel the sun on your face, sun on your body. Beautiful flowers moving gently in the breeze around you. And you notice a beautiful cloud floating above. Perhaps the cloud is white cloud. Perhaps it has some color to it. Whatever you're experiencing is what is right for you in this moment. And it appears the cloud is getting closer and closer. And it seems to be brighter. And soon the cloud seems to just come and settle down right next to you. And a being steps out of the cloud, walks over to you, and lays down in the grass right next to you. It feels comfortable to lay next to a friend on a beautiful sunny day. You feel safe. You feel accepted. You feel blessed. And as you turn to look at this friend, you realize it's the Christ, Jesus. And he's picked a flower for you. Maybe it's a rose. Maybe it's a a daylily. Maybe it's a daisy. Receive whatever flower that you're given with gratitude and know that it may have spiritual significance for you. And as you receive that, you look into his eyes and you see that you are loved. You're accepted. You're appreciated. (laughs) Allow yourself to receive that loving attention. You didn't have to earn it. You don't have to be perfect. You just get to receive that. You can bask in that. And you realize that you have such gratitude in your heart that you would like to give something back, some little token. And you pick a flower for Jesus. And again, whatever you pick may have spiritual significance for you. Perhaps it's a yellow daisy or a red rose. Whatever you experience is what is right for you. And you hand that to Jesus. And it's received with such love and gratitude. And you both laugh like children at the sheer joy of this experience and you realize it's probably time to go so you sit up and he sits up 
and you realize there's something on your heart right now, something that maybe you need uh, um, some information on or some understanding about. Maybe you just need to be heard. So speak this now. And know that this divine loving being hears you. Perhaps it's a request. Perhaps it's just a whine. It's all right. Express this now. And now go ahead and stand back up again. It's time to part company. But not really. You can invite him to walk with you. Whichever you choose to do is what's right for you. But find your way back to your pathway. And from the pathway, back into the here and now, into this time and space, into this room. You might want to stretch a little bit. Take a deep breath in. Hold your fingers, move your toes. Welcome back. Does anyone have any questions or comments about their experience of that? Yes, no, maybe? If you want to chat with me later about it, you can. Certainly can. Uh, when I first saw the cloud, I thought it was a Native American female angel. Mm-hmm. And then she laid by me when you said she laid by me. And then all of a sudden you said it was Jesus. And so I'm like, okay. <laughs> um, and then I switched to that mode. Um, he gave me a red Indian paintbrush flower <coughs> that blooms in the spring. And I gave him uh, the bluebell flower. So let me say this about that. That that Christ consciousness, that spirit, can come to you in any way that is easy for you to receive. And it doesn't have to be a particular form. So whatever works for you is, is fine. Um, the Indian bottle brush, do you paint? Okay. So this is acknowledging that creative outlet for you and, the, and encouraging you to do some more painting, that that would connect you back in with your soul even stronger and could be a real blessing for you. Uh, and you gave back bluebells. Bluebells are all about happiness. So this is your willingness to find happiness at this point. Did you like that? Did that feel right to you? Yes. Got to trust your own heart there. You're welcome. And now the hands show up. Okay, we're only going to do a couple because I have one more process I want to do before we go, but go ahead. There was an alien? He was from space, and I know him. And then I was in the and, and then when I gave the pieces of flowers, I know he gave, he gave me a copy, and I became a copy, and I said that why I was. Again, acknowledged, yeah. And Acknowledging that, that for you. Wonderful. Wonderful. Beautiful. So the passion flower could, could indicate that you're willing to reconnect with your passions again, reconnect with uh, that joy and uh, exuberance of living. that feel right? Okay, thank you. One more here, one more here, and then I'll check with the rest of you after services if we could. The cloud was um, an angel that turned into Jesus, morphed into him. Um, he gave me a daisy, and he just, he smiled at me and held my hand, and I gave him one of those giant sunflowers with all the seeds in it. Okay, so the daisy um, is about acknowledging you have choice. You know, loves me, loves me not, loves me, loves me not. So this is um, giving you power of choice. So there's some choices coming up in your life and acknowledging for you that you're, you'll make the right one. Um, and you gave back the sunflower. This is, it's your time to shine, your time to share, and that you have lots to give. 
<coughs> and that you'll be you'll be sharing what you know and sharing what you what you can do. Does that make sense? One more over here. Um, the figure was it was an all black figure, but I knew it would um, I knew it wasn't like a bad person. I knew it was like okay, and um, and then so and then it turned into Jesus, and then. We were laying in like a circle of, um, of like pink flowers. So cool. he gave me a pink flower, and then I gave him a pink flower. The pink flowers are all about love. Mm -hmm. So uh, Jesus is telling you, "I love you," and you're telling him that you love him, and that love is going to be a key part of your life. Um, the black figure in the in the um, Oriental culture, black is the composite of everything. It's, it holds all colors. So this is the unbound, um, everything that you need in your world. Does that make sense to you? Yes. Very cool. Thank you for sharing, sir. Okay, one last fun thing. Um, we're going to do an Easter egg hunt for the kids. But we also have an Easter egg thing for grown-ups. Don't you love it? Yeah. <laughs> so... Uh-huh. Yes, I do. So, board members, if you'd like to come up and give me a hand here. Um, every person gets one. And there's plenty. So afterwards, if, if somebody wants an extra, you can take it home. These, in, somebody do something with that. <laughs> um, the, uh, you want to help too, Phil? Each egg has a blessing that I wrote out for you. Um, so, if, if there's, I think I did, I think I did 60, and then I made a copy of that, so one is on a white page and one is on another, so only one other person could have your, the same blessing. So, when you're done, um, if you would like to read your blessing out loud, you're welcome to do that. So, who would... Do you want to read yours, Christopher? Sure. Awake to a new dawn. Allow divine light to shine through you in a new way and rejoice. That's pretty good. That's pretty cool. Ditto. You got the same one? Yes. Oh, what are the chances of that? There's only two alike and they're right there. I love that. Speak your truth with grace and kindness to those who are capable of hearing you. Got it. Fun stuff. Each day is a new day. Begin this day with a new dream or a brighter dream. Cool. That fits for you. I'm all about it. Yep. Your heart has its own wisdom. Please listen and hear angels speaking to you. Ooh. <coughs> Quiet times refresh the soul. Active times refresh the body. Do both. Moonlight <laughs> softens the sky. You soften the harsh world by your kindness and smile. Oh, I like that. Good. Create this day in the image of divine source, full of love, light, and adventure. Can you turn that up a little bit, Phil? That's probably what you're on your way to do. You have traveled far on your journey. Can you put that closer to your mouth here? Your little soft voice is not coming through. There we go. Try it again. You have traveled far on your journey. Stand and marvel at your progress. Oh. The blessing you have been waiting for is on its way. Oh, yay. Ah! <laughs> we know what that might be. I get one, too. How fun is that? Uh, Valerie, would you pick one for the video? The uniqueness that is expressed is, is you. Find harmony with, these, with those of like minds. Releasing what holds you back brings you closer to your goals. Dream big. Love it. Your tender heart notices the pain around you. Heal what you can. 
bless the rest. Oh my gosh, that is so profound for you. <laughs> wow. Face the day with a renewed sense of purpose. <clears throat> Love finds a way. Believe. Love it. Hope up, uplifts your heart and action moves you forward. We are right here. Twilight is the between time. When you are in the between time, be still. Your heart is open to new things now. You become safe when your heart leads the way. And then this one is for those out on YouTube. I chose one for you. Wisdom whispers to you. Listen and share your voice. Or listen and share. Your voice heals many. Wow. I love it. Is this cool or what? <laughs> Sorry. Your soul knows the truth of who you are. Release what others say. You are amazing. Wow. Everybody this needs reading glasses, I think, at this point. Go ahead. <laughs> this moment is your divine time to recognize your value. See it now. Oh, you want to turn the lights back up, Phil? That would... Oh, there we go. Yeah. What a concept. <laughs> Let there be. Whoa. The power of love is at your fingertips. Heal and be healed. Love and be loved. The power of love is at your fingertips. Heal and be healed. Love and be loved. <laughs> wow. Now, I have to tell you that I had different people putting these together. And, and, these, and the yellow ones were separate from the white ones. So the chances of you two getting them side by side is astronomical. Wow, how cool is that? We know your struggles, we know your strength. We bring you blessings for joy. Moonlight softens the sky. You soften the harsh world by your kindness and smile. That's true. Observe, what do you first notice? Adjust your perceptions to find brilliance in all. Create this day in the image of the divine source, full of love, light, and adventure. Kindness as a gift blesses many. Kindness as self-care is essential now. Well, that rings true for you, May. Birds sing because they can. You love because you can. We love you for this. Wow, right on. Your gifts are many. Your love is great. Share and be brave. It is worth it. Thank you. Yes. Priceless. Your soul is priceless. We value highly and treasure you. Take a breather from stress and distress. Breathe in the sparkling light of love. <sighs> love it. The sun draws planets around itself. People follow you. Let love lead the way. There is a harmony in the universe. Sing your part. You have great value. Wisdom whispers to you. Listen and share. Your voice heals many. Your destiny awaits discovery. Allow it to unfold for you now. Oh, that's like right on. <laughs> path leads you into a new endeavor. Rejoice and take the first step in faith. Our love abides beyond time and space. Let us love you, heal you, and bless you now. Priceless. Your soul is priceless. We value you highly and treasure you. The uniqueness that is expressed as you finds harmony with those of Lori. like minds. Lori. Fulfillment comes from every direction to grant you safe harbor and abundance now. <laughs> Quiet 
Lee, the flowers grow and bloom. So too, you grow in quiet moments of mindfulness. Wow, that rings true for you too. Simple things bless in big ways. Be the blessing you are and simply be. The blessing you have been hoping for is on its way. Walk tall, worry small, laugh big, give great, be kind, share joy, find grace. Love finds a way. You seek your own truth and it finds you. Sit with us a while. We have much to teach you and for you to teach others. Days slip by, but your eternal clock is forever. Live in eternity, live in love. How blessed am I? I had two. Oh! <laughs> Wonderment enfolds you now. Open hearted curiosity blesses you. Your boundaries keep you safe. Your love keeps you bright. Your joy keeps you alive. Wow. You are beautiful with a light that surpasses mortal. Awareness. Your efforts are noticed by those in divine realms. We applaud you. Hope. Refill your cup with hope and see how much you can accomplish from here. Love it. Hope shines through you because of your faith. Believe in yourself too. Your path leads you into a new endeavor. Rejoice and take the first step in faith. Your tender heart notices the pain around you. Heal what you can. Bless the rest. Laughter from the soul without bitterness heals yourself and others. Giggle up. Giggle up. That's our new phrase. Got it. She's up. giggling already. How can we not? How can you not? Good question. Days slip by, but your eternal clock is forever. Live in eternity, live in love. Wonderment enfolds you now. The open-hearted curiosity blesses you. And for what's going on with me right now, that perfectly fits. <coughs> perfectly fits. Love it. I'm sure it was just an accident. <laughs> Speak your truth with grace and kindness to those who are capable of hearing you. Hope shines through you because of your faith. Believe in yourself, too. Releasing what holds you back brings you closer to your goals. Dream big. This moment is your divine time to recognize your value. See it now. Take time to commune with divine source. A floodgate of power awaits your attention. You get that? You get the truth of that one? Yep. Mm -hmm. You are beautiful with a light that surpasses mortal awareness. Your boundaries keep you safe. Your love keeps you bright. Your joy keeps you alive. Our love abides beyond time and space. Let us love you, heal you, and bless you now. Quiet times refresh the soul. Active times refresh the body do both. You are a great blessing and many blessings are coming to you now. Thank you. And the one I picked was yours. <laughs> I could cry. I did these. I just um, sat at the computer and allowed them to come through and they all came out in two lines. <laughs> it was just like really cool. So I don't remember any most of what I wrote, so that was wonderful to hear them again. Here's what I got. Your soul outshines the stars. Can you see it? We can. We are you now. So you're welcome to keep your egg, or you're welcome to uh, leave it here for next year, whichever works for you is works for us. Um, Phil's got delight in all things as they bless, teach, and push us into a new way of being. Joy follows. Right on. Right on.